So, uh, firstly, I'm going to be talking about Wofen and Wiggle, and I'm not sure how much of you know what they are and what, they, what I mean with that, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, obviously, my name is Emil Velikov. I'm a student, Bulgarian student in the UK. Um, one of the guys that actually breaks Mises build while you guys are adding new features, which is good. Um, if you want to flame me, basically, this is where you can find me. And for an email, I uh, honestly forgot to add one. So uh, today, what I'll be talking about is about Waffle, a very, very brief introduction about Waffle. I'm going to show you some of the API, not all of it. I'm going to mention like a couple of words about all those GL bits and bulbs, you know, GLX, EGL, etc. And how I coped this summer trying to fit WGL with Waffle. So at the end, I'm going to tell you what the status at the moment is, and I'm going to tell you what I have planned. But we'll see. When it comes, it comes. So first, Waffle. Waffle is a, a library. You can think about it as SDL. Actually, how many of you know what Waffle is? Anyone? Oh, good. About half of you, I would say. So uh, essentially, a Waffle is a SDL-like library. Um, we use it in Piglet mostly. I, I believe there might be a case or two other outside of Piglet. And what we do is we use it to abstract uh, all of the Windows-specific interaction between GL and the different platforms. And as I mentioned there, there's no input handling, which was the original design idea, but perhaps we might change that. We'll see. Um, as I said, um, it does abstract some of the concepts in a way. Uh, what it also does is it aims to essentially push the decision to runtime. So if you, if you make your program or piglet, essentially, what you can do is provide an environment variable. Would that be like uh, to run piglet on WGL? And obviously, it converts dynamically all the, the Winsys codes to the appropriate platform. So roughly, this is what the API is. So you can see a bunch of functions just thrown out. Yeah? Uh, I believe most of you know what they are. I don't see much of a point in going through them. Um, hope I'm wrong. Um, the whole idea is of Waffle is to keep things as straightforward as possible. Uh, it tries to minimize any of the assumptions that most libraries such as SDO provide and just goes as flat as possible. It's a function call. It's even lighter than SDO. So uh, essentially, some of you have written this kind of interesting stuff. If you want to create GL context with X, you normally use those functions roughly in this order. Obviously, perhaps a few more if needed. Uh, the principle is you open the display, you get the config, you choose the correct one for the frame buffer. Once you got the config, you create the context based on it, and then optionally you can create your window. Which is, is, I think it's straightforward. To be honest, I haven't done much of that stuff, but from a, from a person that's touching the, the window side of things, obviously it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of time at it. So. I'm just going to cover it and the rest for the sake. Uh, CGL, as perhaps you know, it is the Apple or the Mac version of it. Uh, as you can see, they went a little bit shorter. So what you do is just you choose your pixel format and you create your context. And with this um, lovely Objective-C function, apparently you make some rectangle which somehow relates to the window, which thank God I'm not doing. Uh, next part is we'll quickly up to EGL. Um, being embedded, it, it does require a bit more setup. I believe with EGL 1.4, you may have an extra function, but I'm not going to mention one. And roughly boils down to the same, shall we say, workflow with regards to GLX. Get your display, get your configs, your context, and your window, one way or the other. And then you have this. Yeah, um, it's kind of backwards. Uh, perhaps 
perhaps it's just me, but I think it's kind of backwards. Um, so essentially, you create your window first out of thin air. Uh, based on that window, you get the draw or the device context. Uh, after that, you create your pixels based on what the device supports. And afterwards, you create your context. Well, there's a bit more to it, and I'll get into that in a moment. And obviously, to actually see how all that relates to Waffle, I'm going to show you what how you normally use Waffle. And it's basically a simple wrapper, as I said, an abstraction around EGL and GLX. And if you have to compare one, this one with the previous one, you have to do some interesting things to get there. Right, let's see. Um, I'm doing very, very quick. Great. Um, so, uh, in order for me to essentially get the whole conf configuration, context, etc., I need to do something very, very nasty. I need to create the so-called root window first. Oh, that's the way I call it. To uh, query the, the actual implementation, the actual GL implementation, what it's capable of. So create a simple root, root window and hope that the user doesn't do anything. Uh, then we get our context. Uh, then we create the context, acquire what it's capable of. And at that particular point, I must point out that um, uh, get proc address is very interesting on Windows. How many of you, apart from Ian, know uh, the lovely experience we have with querying contexts and NGL, essentially? Why just querying a, why just calling a get proc address? It's not sufficient for us to establish if the extension is available or not. Good. I have a few of you. Can you just? guide all the, the nasty process. So essentially, what Windows have done, uh, they have chosen to have a, a single GL provider, um, which provides GL 1.0. And everything else is obviously extensions. And at that point, you jump from OpenGL to the ext uh, particular, particular GL driver. In order to achieve all that, on Windows, first you need to create your context, and then you have to go get proc address, which is different than the Unix world, I must say. And uh, in order for us to even uh, go that uh, second, third point when we create contexts, so we need to create one dummy context first to query if we can use the Arbor extension to get a slightly more advanced context with all the extra bits and bobs, query that one, if possible, set the appropriate flags in Waffle, and at the latest stage, use them. So uh, once we get some basic understanding in Waffle, what's cap what the Geo implementation is capable or not, then we get to the next step, which is choose a config. But yeah, that one, again, happens after the window creation. So what I do normally is I create the so-called client window. That's the way I call it. Perhaps you come up with a better name. And essentially, I create that one. I choose the configuration for it. I make sure the window is hidden. And I hope that the, the user is not, not going to do something nasty, which I'll get into in a moment. So once you got the config, Based on a normal workflow, you, you create your context. So that would be either with, with a standard function or the ARB extension. And at the end, when you want to so-called create your window with Waffle, I just call a show function. And I'm not sure if I'm getting through to you, but uh, the point here is that if a, a Waffle user, without Piglet or anyone else, says, hmm, interesting. I'll, I'd like this configuration. I'd like more than one window, please. Unfortunately, we don't handle that too gracefully. We just um, refuse to create a second window. Uh, I believe there might be a better solution to 
Then I'll perhaps create some sort of a list where we create multiple windows based on the. Uh, it is kind of backwards to me, and I just hope it doesn't happen. Um, that's some of this stuff. Ah, and as I mentioned, some of the quirks. Um, the oh, got the wrong function name there. Um, so when one wants to get yeah, the the function pointer that be OpenGL 1.1 and onwards, one needs to make sure they have an active context. And current waffle doesn't require you to do that. And I believe that's um, on the initial user GLX. And EGL obviously does the same thing. Another interesting part is that uh, those particular set of functions here, DL open and DL sim, and the counterpart in Windows are used to query the function pointer for GL 1.0. Yet again, Waffle uses those to query, well, one can use Waffle to query ELE, GLES 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, which was rather interesting, and I was hoping that GL Dispatch would handle this. Unfortunately, we don't have that one yet. I was pondering for a moment if we can get uh, lib epoxy or just epoxy into waffle. From my point of view, it's a bit too much to be honest, but we'll get to that. So the solution is, so what, what do we do with those deals, open DL sim, open GLES? Well, essentially we just forward them to the normal dispatch, which is open GL DLL which as far as I'm aware, embedded, embedded GL implementations are not allowed, is it not allowed or are not recommended to provide any function pointers statically linked against anything above the GL 1.0, something along those lines. Those extensions are big. Okay, uh, so, um, interesting. I'll be wrapped up in 15 minutes. Um, current status is um, I did post all of the code in various iterations through the summer. The last version has been posted on the mailing list. And I'm hoping Chad will have the chance to merge it soon. And there was a minor catch, as I said, with this um, DLO open and DL sim. Uh, the current solution, as I said, we just go straight ahead to OpenGL. And as I said, we try to avoid any of the assumptions and everything. So essentially, everyone that uses Waffle, they ought to know what's available and what's not. Yes. The, the dispatch we have in Peglet does. So as I said, I'm hoping that the code will be merged soon. There is a minor, I would say quite minor, API change for Piglet, which will require a line or two of change in Piglet. Uh, yeah, and I still got the wrong function name here. Due to the geo get proc address, as mentioned earlier. Um, I'm gonna give you what's next. So basically, um, my hope is to get first thing upstream. Second part is there are a couple of get native hooks for essentially all of the objects in Waffle. Let's just quickly pop down, back. As you can see here, so we have Waffle display get native, Waffle window get native, and so on and so forth. Um, most of those are used internally in Peglet, and I don't think there is much of a use for them yet. And they are explicitly used to I believe there's two use of them. The major one is for the input. Obviously, one needs to relate the input with the actual window and so forth. Uh, and the second part is when running Piglet in an interactive and non-interactive mode, it can obviously set the actual window to grab the input or not. So as I said, once we get the basic non-interactive mode with Piglet and WGO working, my next plan is to get all the native hooks and put some input, Windows input code, in, 
in Piglet. Then do some cleanups and start pondering again on gel dispatch. Would that be interesting? I don't know. Perhaps it might be a, a long and crazy stuff to do. Um, and last but not least, I was thinking about multi-monitor supports for Windows. Uh, I'm not sure there will be many of them, but it will be a definitely nice thing to explore. Uh, in, a, in a summary, I must say, uh, developing for Windows on Linux was quite, quite fun. Um, as I said, it's there, it works. Perhaps I should have provided a link. Uh, if you give me a minute, actually, I'll just open up and I'll show you where they are. Um, if you do plan to actually use Piglet with Waffle on Windows, beware that GPU lockups are common. I had a couple of cases where it just locked up pretty badly, but mostly the GPU recovery works like a charm. Um, as I said, I'm rather quick, and uh, I'll go for some questions. Uh, perhaps I can boot into Windows 7 as well and show you a very <coughs> interesting run of Piglet. So, any question? Yes, thank you. Sorry, boot, man. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a while. Bummer. Does anyone have screwdriver? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yes, Airport doesn't allow you to wear, uh, to carry this stuff in your handbag.